Hello there. Today is August 8th, 2024. So I want to give an update on what's going on here. I was released from the hospital last Friday and I have now been a week in the rehab location. And as of today, I've got my clothes back. I've been walking around in a nightgown for the last week. And on top of that, two weeks. So I have clothes. I was able to get out, sit out here in clothes and walk around. And I am committed now more than ever to my recovery. I won't say complete recovery because again, I have been in the hospital in and out since 2016 with my senior gravis. But I'll tell you this, 2017 is when I found Jeremy Geeks and Gamers with the return of the Jedi. And then I met Nerd Erotic and a bunch of other people. And in 2021, I went to Vegas because I knew I needed to get out and meet these people because of like-minded people that believe in the foundation of our entertainment, our culture, what we, how it is, and it's under attack. And I have been under attack from the world as it is, you know, toxic, and it's affected me. I have not gotten sick, it's this condition is just a very, you know, interesting one. I don't get colds or flus and all that stuff, and I'm gonna keep on fighting. And it reminds me today of what I saw a few weeks ago with Trump getting almost assassinated and him giving a wonderful one hour long news conference. It tells you more what's at stake, or it tells you more, are you willing to stand up for America? My condition, I was in, last time when I was first in Vegas, I was in a wheelchair and walker, and most people saw me in a walker. And then in, when I went to Orlando, I fell down. I actually fell down very hard, but I never gave up. I stood up, I have to fight because I believe in America and Americans. It's the Americans I believe in, everybody in America. I'm here at this facility now and the hardest workers are the cleaners, the nurse assistants, the nurses, they are busting their balls every single day to help people. And, they, and they're underappreciated, but they work hard and they're tireless because they believe what's right for each other. They look at they look, look, look themselves in the eye. I'm worthy of this. I'm going to get this done. And they go out there and they fight. They work hard for their, their what they earn. And that's what's important. That's why it's important. That to, again, if you appreciate somebody, no tax on tips is important. Think about it. You want to give your best and, hey, I get this, this an hour, but if I get a tip, if I do a great job, I'm going to get tipped for it appreciation, gratitude, that's what we gotta do. So I'm committed now to standing up and fighting every day, even more so we're less than 90 days away from the most important election of our history. We have to fight for it. I'm gonna fight for it. I am gonna stand up for it. I'm standing up for America. I have to, because we have to fight. Anyway, let me sit back down. But again, I wanna thank Gary as for RP gas, just kidding. Uh, as for everybody from FNT, Chrissy, Quarter Black, Shad, Comics, you know, Odin, you know, everybody who, uh, X Ray Girl, of course, you've got in the back, you're always working. Everyone I've met, everyone I've been associating with myself with who's been good, honest people from Porch Conservative, you have a whole crew of Keys and Gamers, a whole crew of Nerd Erotic, everyone I've met. Ever like bro science guys, Dan Vasque, you know, Beardo, everybody, all of you, I love watching you. And it's, it's, it, it means a lot. Cause again, we had in the turn of the century, the town square. We, in the eighties, we had the malls we'd go to and hang out. Due to the 2020s, we have zoom and then we have these, our spaces. And then we have Twitter and YouTube and now rumble. The, the things stay the same where community or fellowship in this regard, because we are a fellowship, we're not a community, get together and fight for what's right for America. And I'm very proud to stand with all of you here because you have done a great job keeping the faith, keeping the culture grounded and alive with good things. So all of you out there, keep on fighting, keep on doing it. I'm going to fight. I have about a week and a half, two more weeks of rehab to go through, but I'm not giving up. I can't give up because I believe in each of you and I will continue to follow you. Can you do things? Again, for me, YouTube 
was just an accountability. Hey, I'm going to lose some weight. I'm going to do this. I got sick. I'm going to cure myself. I have an idea. I want to talk about it. I want to have that engagement. It's not about followers. It's not about clicks. It's not about the money for me. I could do it other ways, which I'm trying to do my own business, doing some consulting work again. It's about having someone who's got your back, someone who's going to stand for you and say, yes, I stand with so-and-so because I believe in what they're doing and they, I, they, I vouch for them. We used to have a man of your word, a handshake. I mean, I do that. I, and I love shaking each of you's hand, giving you hugs, loving on all of you because you are all good people. I don't keep it up. You have to fight for what you believe and I stand with you, your dreams, your desires. I know it's tough out there in the world right now. I know it's like, these are expensive. You know what's going to happen if war may break out. Again, these elites, these, they're not elite to me. They're just, they're, they are not authority. They are just scum of the earth, all of them. Bill Gates, yes you are, BlackRock, Vanguard, all of them. They, all it is about using profit. They're taking the blood of America, Americans, and using it for their own dark deeds child trafficking. The fentanyl is all them. Look at the US government. They're doing it. They want you dead. They don't want you. Kamala said that they want to decrease the pop population. Waltz wants to take your kids away. Again, no. We have to bring back decency to America. And don't throw don't throw the whole the fentanyl felony shit. Lawfare. You made it all up. It's fake. Trump won in 2020. He's going to win in 24. If he doesn't, you're going to rule the day because we're going to. I personally have many things I want to do. The most important thing here is I want to evaluate the United States Code and remove anything in there that is indecent and does not speak to the will of the people following the 10th Amendment. And I want, just like Trump did, when it comes to Roe v. Wade, let the state decide. If a state wants to have uh, abortion after birth, nine months, a term, right, full term, if you live in a state that wants to be that sick, so be it. I don't care. I'm not going to stay away from a state, California. But again, you have to, and again, if you want something done, and again, I, I challenge you, what do you want? You know what I want? I want the government out of my life. I don't want anything from you. Get out of my life, leave me alone, and, and I want to start a business, and I want no regulation on that business. I want to keep it going. And the other side, I want money. I want this. I want my rights. I want this. No, we're done with that stuff. What do you really want? What are you going to, what are you going to do about it? Fight, 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 always. Anyway, guys, talk to you soon. Take care of yourselves. And I'm going to keep on fighting. Talk to you later. Bye.